hands to give us these eyes to see. One of the things that Jesus wants to do, and I'm not very good at drawing these, but Jesus wants to come and he gives us a mouth. Who knows what Jesus wants us to use our mouth for? What do you think? For eating? Yeah, you know what? Some of y'all got to use your mouth for eating tonight. That's right. He likes to sing too, right? Well, that's right. He likes for us to sing. I can, I can tell that you really like to sing too. And so, you know, it's wonderful, isn't it? Isn't it a good thing that Jesus lets us lets us sing about all sorts of happy things and to be able to tell a nose? We're going to get to that here in just a minute. One of the other things that he gives us, what do we, what do we, how do we hear what's going on? He gives us ears, that's right. And what are, what are those ears for? What is one of the best things that we can hear? That's right, our hearing. That's right, that's what our ears do. What does Jesus want us to hear? What are some good things that we can hear about? What do you think? The white ninja, do you know? What about, what about on Sunday mornings when we get to hear about our Bible stories and the things? Those are good things, huh? Is there anything else that Jesus wants to give us? What else does he want, Bentley? Somebody said it a minute ago. What was it? A nose. We got to have a nose. And what is a nose for? It's to smell. I have a nose. Uh, yes, you do. You have a big green nose. That's right. You know what? And so Jesus comes and he does all of these wonderful things. But you know what? It seems like there's still something missing, isn't there? He, he fell away. What? Hey, what's, what's missing? A tail? Uh, what's missing? What? What don't you see here? A light. That's right, Corbin. There's a light missing from inside of there. There's a light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. <laughs> and so you know what? Shine and shine. After Jesus comes and he like cleans, y'all, y'all are beautiful. You have beautiful voices. And you know what? After, after Jesus comes and he cleans us out, he comes and he begins to put that light inside of us. And what does it say that that light is supposed to do? Who knows what that light's supposed to do? Yes, sir. That's right. Our love and our faith. And who is that? How many people can see that light inside of there right now? Yeah. Do you know what? When Jesus comes and he puts that light inside of us, he wants for everybody to see it. In fact, the Bible says that we're supposed to let that light shine before everyone around us. How many of y'all know that Jesus loves us tonight? <laughs> That's right. All of my puppet friends back there, they know. Hallelujah! <laughs> there you Praise go. the Lord. Raise the roof, little guys. There you go. He's putting them up right there. Do you know what? Who did Jesus die for? <laughs> did he die for me? Did he die for you? Yeah. Did he die for everybody out there? Yeah. Wow. You know, that's pretty special that Jesus would do something like that for us. Who can invite Jesus to come into their life? Can everybody do that? How many of you, if you know that Jesus wants to live in our life, can you just raise your hand, raise it high? Do you know? Listen here. Hey, listen up. This is real important. This is real important because you know what? You know what? Some people, some people don't know that Jesus wants to live in their life. And so who's, who should tell them about Jesus? That's right. We should all tell people about Jesus. We should, right? 